know, just one of the things that I've, I've been noticing over maybe the past 10 years, and I was coming here to soundcheck earlier today, and I was standing over there looking at some of the posters. Some of those acts are stealing a lot from rock and roll. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know, there was a time when everybody only wore Wrangler. Now the jeans are getting a bit tighter and ripped, and some tattoos and some bandanas. That kind of stuff used to belong to Poison and L.A. Guns. I think they got a patent, or Gene Simmons have it copyrighted. I'm not completely sure. I'm actually trying to come come up with a comparison of what, how much different there is for me and Tim McGraw. And you know, we just start with a hat. Maybe a little bit more hair. He's got Faith Hill, I don't. Lyrics are sort of the same thing. I think sometimes when people, um, I know you guys came to rock uh, my upbringing has a lot to do with the, the similarity of, of country and folk. Is it kind of songs? No, no, you don't. You don't yell when the the superstar speaks. <laughs> kind of like you know, I got a lot of good stuff to say. And right after the show, um, I'm just going to put the guitar away and I'm going to come out and, and, and join you guys. Um, for, I'm going to take a picture. My, my son's going to come out and help me as they sell the new album, a t-shirt, whatever it is. I'm just going to hear some stories or stuff like that. It's, it's been a pleasure and, and we've got a lot of good stuff here. Going to have a little epic here from the Pride album. It goes back to 1987. Like I says, who's counting the years is just...
Some bigger one later on. Don't worry about it. So much good stuff today. 